A survey team of the International Atomic Energy Agency has drawn up final recommendations on how to remove the radioactive substances released from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The team handed the report to the Japanese government on Tuesday. The 80-page report is based on the team's visit to Fukushima Prefecture last month. The report urges the central and local governments to find final disposal sites for contaminated topsoil and other materials so they won't cause health problems. All I know is this violates every canon of respectable broadcasting. The experts say the decontamination work should start from locations where high levels of radiation are detected. They advise that much of the radioactive waste in urban areas can be treated at existing disposal facilities because the radiation levels are low by IAEA safety standards. The team asks authorities to set up road signs to warn people they are approaching the evacuation zone around the troubled plant. The IEA says it will provide technological support according to the Japanese government's requests. A team of researchers says radioactive cesium discharged from the Fukushima Daiji plant may have contaminated soil as far away as 500 kilometers from the plant. Experts are calling for nationwide testing of radiation in soil. The international team simulated the distribution of radioactive materials. They combined global atmospheric patterns with nationwide radioactive measurements taken over a period of one month from March 20th. That was nine days after a massive earthquake and tsunami triggered a nuclear accident. The researchers say the results suggest that some cesium-137 had reached the northernmost island of Hokkaido as well as some areas of western Japan. The radiation density per kilogram reached 250 becquerels in eastern Hokkaido and 25 becquerels in mountainous areas of western Japan. Researchers say the radioactive material may have accumulated in the soil due to rain. They added that the pollution levels are not high enough to require decontamination. There are many places throughout Japan where radiation testing of the soil has not been carried out. I hope this simulation will be a useful reference when more detailed tests are conducted. And I said have a nice day! Japan's Environment Ministry says downstream radiation levels have risen in some rivers in Fukushima Prefecture. The ministry has been monitoring radiation levels in rivers near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to assess the impact of the accident there. Officials took sand samples from two rivers in September. The upstream radioactive cesium levels were over 3,000 becquerels per kilogram in a river in the northern village of Itate. The downstream levels of the same river in an area of Soma City were 13,000 becquerels. The upstream levels had fallen to one-fifth of those observed in May, but the downstream measurements had tripled. Cesium levels near the mouth of another river in Soma City were nearly 30,000 becquerels. They have doubled since May. Kinki University professor Hideo Yamazaki says radiation levels should be monitored near river mouths as radioactive substances in riverbed sands are probably moving downstream. The operator of the Fukushima plant has received $7.3 billion from a government-backed fund to help compensate people affected by the disaster. The payment is the first installment of $11.8 billion in public funds that will be provided to Tokyo Electric Power Company by the end of next March. The rest of the money will be paid after the government confirms the funds are being properly allocated. TEPCO will be required to reimburse the government from its future revenue, but the utility must also shoulder the huge cost of scrapping the plant's reactors. TEPCO has agreed to drop a new business plan next spring, including measures to reform its management. Uh, uh, everything's under control, situation normal. What happened? Uh, it had a slight weapons malfunction, but uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? 
Hello, this is Luke Garbeck from South Korea. Ten days ago, uh, huge radioactive materials was found on the road of Seoul, South Korea. Uh, the radiation level is up to 3 microsievert per hour. It's so radioactive. But our government is, they don't think it's, it's dangerous because they said after the investigation of this world, radioactive world, they said it's safe. But also they said uh, the radiation level of cesium-137 is 35,400 becquerels per kilogram, they said. 35,000 becquerels per kilogram. Oh, do you think it's, it's this safe level? But they said it's safe. So they ignored the the common sense and they ignore the Korean citizen. It's your own risk visiting South Korea. I I have some professional uh, professional Geiger counter or a professional uh, surface contamination meter. I measure the radiation. I think the radioactive source from the world is this one. This is the nuclear waste cement. This is a nuclear waste cement from power plants. This is a, a cement wall and this is the nuclear waste compact. So please comment on this. Please help us because our nuclear agency, safety agency, ignoring this very important fact there are so many huge, so many rules, radioactive rules in South Korea, others. Okay? So, please comment on this. And last night, about 10 o'clock, it started to rain, so I went out and wiped my car down and brought it in and set the uh, paper towel in front of my Geiger counter. And I thought, well, maybe I'll let it run for an hour, two hours maybe and then take the paper towel away to see what kind of a reading we get but it was hot enough that I thought well you know what I'll just let this thing run so I've had it set in front of the paper the paper towel set in front of the Geiger counter for about 11 hours and here's the results that we have off of the rain as you guys can see when the rain first came down we was averaging 40 right at 40 counts per minute and then within 30 minutes, it had decreased about half, so another half, 30 minutes after that. So it looks like whatever was in the rain had a 30, 35 minute half-life, and then it decayed out. And then we have maybe 17 counts per minute, and it you can see the line kind of gradually decreases. I mean I've measured more radioactivity in a car air filter than they are measuring in a child and the car breathes air in the same way as the child breathes air so I don't really believe what they're saying that's the first point so we need to have independent testing and secondly we need to try and do something about these children who are being contaminated there are two things we can do the first thing is we can take them away from the areas of contamination and put them somewhere where it's reasonably safe. But that, re that, that leads us to another problem, because what's happening now, as I'm told, is that the Japanese government are trucking radioactive material from the Fukushima disaster area, where it's contaminated, all over Japan. And even as far south as the south of Japan, we're now getting reports of, of uh, radioactivity, uh, radioactive material being taken all the way to the south of Japan to be burnt. Now, what possible reason could there be for burning it as far away as that? I'll tell you the reason. It's really quite sinister and horrifying. The reason is this. That eventually, when these children start to die from leukemia, from other cancers, from heart disease, from whatever, their parents are going to want to go into court. They're going to want to sue the Japanese government, and they're going to want to have to say, these, in order to do that, these children were contaminated, and that's why they've got high levels of cancer. But, of course, the only way that they can say that they've got high levels of cancer is to have a control group in an area that's not contaminated. For example, the south of Japan. 
So I believe that the project to take this material and burn it all over Japan is to destroy all of Japan, is to increase the, the, the cancer rate in the whole of Japan so that there will be no control group to which you can compare these children in the Fukushima area. So that's that point.